malformed yeah. bacteria, we have to let it sit for 36 yes. hours. So do not do we'll that just, one. No, you can do it. We'll just take it back We're to the lab. It's, it's, it's on a little it It's New York State, and it's, there's so many excellent teachers in this state. And uh, for me to not only be a finalist, but the only finalist for science was, was astounding. It's, it was just so thrilling. Everyone at school was wonderful. They ran a big ad in the Sunday paper later that week, and, and my kids were just as excited as I am. As time has gone on, I do less and less lecturing and more and more hands-on activities. And part of being a good teacher, I think, is learning how to use your time wisely. A lot of times I'll be laying in bed thinking, oh, no, I, I thought of a better way to do that. So as time goes on, you, you keep fine-tuning your course, toss things out, pull new things in, and you just get, you just get better and better at it. A whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. This is my 12th year teaching. More and more of my labs I've turned in another direction so that it's inquiry-based rather than just a standard cookbook lab. And the results you get as far as what they actually learn is so much better than doing it the standard way. So it takes practice to think that way as a teacher, but once you do, you can see big, big results from it. This is my AP Environmental Science class. Uh, it's juniors and seniors. It's a college level course. Um, they'll earn AP credit for it when uh, they take the test in May. What? Okay, so what's that green thing? That is a dragonfly larva. Wow. I like the opportunities to get outside and observe actual life instead of just learning about it in textbooks. And it's, it's been pretty enlightening. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> I feel pretty lucky to uh, be able to take this class. Pill clam. Okay, that's a pill oh, clam. That? That's a midge. Yeah, I tried another sample. Yesterday down in here, they got lots of good stuff. She's a really good teacher. She, she knows, knows everything really well, and uh, she always answers questions. She's open. The classroom experience is good. We, can, we all get to participate. My kids never know what we're going to do, so they always come in, you know, a little bit eager. What are we doing today? You know, and I try to mix it up a lot, and you have to appeal to the different learning styles, different talents that kids have. Like some kids are really artistic and good that way, other kids are very academic. So you got to get everybody a chance to shine. I had a wonderful experience at Nazareth. I had great teachers, great support. I loved how small the classes were, how the teachers really knew you by name, and I would recommend it. I think it's they have the finest program in this area. It's quite a week, a day at the White House meeting the president. Uh, there's a uh, National Science Foundation day. Uh, they open up the Natural Museum history for us after hours, so we get a private tour. It's, it's a thrilling enough just to be able to shake his hand and meet him. Oh, no. we, we meet the uh, administration and talk about science education in the country and, and uh, how we're kind of falling behind the rest of the nations and why this is such an important award, really, because these are the teachers that are inspiring future scientists.